So now we're going to be painting the moon yantra. And let's see, some of you might have my book, Nine Designs for Inner Peace. I thought I, this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. So this time I think I'm going to mix all the paints together at the beginning. So you're going to have the whole palette ahead of time. Then I'll just show you a time lapse of me painting. So there's a couple of things I want to point out before we start. And you might like this book if you like the planets. It has all the recipes for painting all the planets. And this is the moon. So the colors of the moon, the pink, purple, the shimmery. There's a layer of silver. See the silver? There's a layer of silver in between the two rings of petals. And the whole look of the moon is that it's going to be shimmery, mysterious, like a pearl. So you know when you look at a pearl, it can be pearlescent. So what does pearlescent mean? Pearlescent is like that, it's like it's white, it's off-white, sometimes it looks pinky, purpley, right? There's almost a rainbowy effect that happens with a pearl. So that's the feeling that you want to have in your yantra. And it's going to be pastel blues, pastel blues with maybe little mauves, pinks, to give you that feeling. Also, one thing I want to mention is the silver. Silver, oftentimes you can add water if you're using gouache and you'll do two coats of it. Otherwise, it doesn't look dense. You want it to almost look reflective, like a mirror. What's nice about the moon yantra is if you have it up in your house, wherever you stand, it's kind of like the the moon shimmers, right? It sort of travels around with the light traveling around the room. So it never quite looks the same from any one angle or any one time of day. And the colors in the center look very similar. It's a very pale pink behind the star and a very pale blue for the star. So the central color in the moon yantra is actually white with a hint of blue. Sometimes I think about that detergent you used to get that was white detergent and it had little specks of blue in it, right? So it was like bluey white. So that's the color you're going to have at the center of the yantra and just behind it a little pinky white. So most people will think it's white and white but you will know it's blue and pink. All right, so it's a very limited palette and the deep colors are going to be just a darker version of the light colors. It's very methodical, therapeutic. There's a lot of petals because you have your 16 lunar petals and then your eight petals. So I think that's enough of an intro. I just wanted to hop on here and say hi because usually it's just my hands that you're seeing. And so today I'm going to be doing all the paint mixing at once. Sometimes I do this, most often I don't. Most often I do paint one color, then wait and then mix the next color. But just sometimes I might just decide I'm gonna mix all the colors and then I can just sit and paint, paint, paint. And that in itself is a different kind of meditation. So today I'm offering a different style. All right, so thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like. This YouTube channel is growing. Thank you so much, bye bye. Let's see the yantra again. Get my mixing brush. So I'm going to make these outer colors. It's going to be gold. It's going to be a light yellow. There's going to be pale blue. And we're going to keep using that pale blue as we go through the yantra. Gold again. Then there's a pinky color behind the silver. A lot of silver. So you have the silver. Silver petals, silver behind the next row of petals. Then there's a deeper, this color here, the seeds of the petals, they're going to be a deeper color, blue, it's like a deeper version of this pale blue. Then you have the same blue petals and then a little bit paler version of that blue. So there's a lot of color relationships here. Just a little bit of lighter colors maybe, darker colors, same shade, same hue, same blue but just lighter. And then right at the center there's going to be a very white version of this pink and this blue. 
So, <clears throat> so this behind the star is going to be pale pink and the bright star in the middle is going to be very pale blue. See how it looks almost white. All right, so I thought I'll just put my card there. The, the amazing Yantra deck, which you guys have to get if you don't have it already. There's actually a new edition coming out. All right, some of these paintings have been in storage. I've just been moving. So let's see how we're doing. This is the gold. And to mix the gold, you just add a little water. No extra colors, no white. And you want it to be a thinnish consistency, maybe like heavy pouring cream. <clears throat> and I'll show you in a second, we're gonna do a little test streak on the streak of paint on the piece of paper. And we can just see what kind of consistency we have. So color making, color mixing 101 here with gouache. I like to use these Windsor and Newton gouaches. So each yantra has a slightly different shade of yellow as the second color. The moon yantra has a very pale yellow. So let's see. I'm going to use a little bit of this lemon yellow. Not too much. And a little bit of a primary yellow. Can be spectrum yellow, can be primary yellow. Okay. And then I'll mix it with a little bit of white so it's not too translucent. Yellow especially is very translucent if you don't add a little white. So we're thinking about the moon, the nurturing, soothing. Go ahead and put maybe too much white in. Let's see, maybe I'll take a little out. So there is a chunk of white in, but I don't want to overdo it at the beginning. Otherwise it's going to look like what? Buttercups. So let me take some of that back out. Use it a little bit later. And I'll take my tip, both those yellows and I'll put those in the middle. See that is just quite yellow enough, quite light enough. Something like that. This is very sapphic, pure, not hot, not cold yellow. If anything, it's just a tiny bit on the cool spectrum. Okay. So something in that range, it could be a tiny bit brighter, tiny bit more lemony. I like this. I'm going to leave it, keep it for now. And now for the main blue. Let's take a look at this little sample. It's good to just look back at it. So I was talking earlier about the colors in the pearl, these iridescent colors, silvery, shimmery, blue, purple. So right now we're going to make the blue. And actually this is the same color blue, even though it looks darker. What you'll notice in the yantras is that as you go towards the center, the colors start to look darker. So this is actually an optical illusion, same blue. So let's start with some, we have the white already now. A little cerulean blue can be nice. Cerulean is a little bit like turquoise. It's kind of like the nearest you'll get to turquoise, I feel, in this Windsor Newton gouache. Okay, so I'll probably have extra because I'm going to use blue again for the seeds of the petals. So I probably just start over there. And some of you might like a little warmer color. I'm somehow feeling inclined to go a little cooler today with this moon. But if you feel like you want your moon to look warmer, you can add a little of this. This is cobalt blue. So I'll just put a little down in case I get inspired to add a tad touch. Okay. Just a little bit. See how it's a little darker. It's a little bit, just a tiny bit more purpley. 
red very slightly. All right, so I'm gonna mix now the pale blue, the main color. So I'm gonna use all that white that I had extra of. And most of this, most of this cerulean blue, I'm gonna keep a little cerulean blue handy for later. And quite a bit of water, you know, these colors that have a lot of white in, you end up needing quite a bit of water. Mix, mix, mix. And then one thing you have to know about this blue color is that when it dries, it's going to dry a little bit darker. So that's why I definitely do tests early on and then I just wait and I see how does that look when it dries. So let's see. Okay. Put a little on my sample piece of paper. You can see that. Got a little yellow in it. It's looking a little shimmery and then you'll see in a minute they will dry just a little bit darker. Maybe I'll put a tiny bit of this in. Tiny bit of that, tiny bit more of this. Give it one more stir. Ah. All right, so that, to in my mind, it changed it quite a bit. Probably doesn't look that different. Okay. So we'll probably wait and see how that looks when it's dry. For now, I'm gonna leave it. And while I have my blue paintbrush, I'm gonna make the colors that are gonna go in the seeds, in the centers of the petals. So I'm actually just gonna mix this color all together. This is the pure cerulean blue pigment. So this can go, let's see, maybe I'll add a tiny bit of the cobalt. This is gonna go in the center of the 16 petals. So it's gonna go on the silver. And I can just do a little test on my, see how it's darker. And just so you can see where I'm going with this. So it's gonna go at the center of this silver. And then there's another center, which is here. It's a little bit lighter, so I'll just add a little white to the same color. Maybe I'll make a new spot for it. A little of this, a little of that. And then the slightly lighter color I'll put over here. And these are gonna be the centers of the eight petals. So right now, I have a nice, nice lot of blue. I have my main color that's gonna be used for the Bupur background and the eight petals. And then I have one color that's going to be used for the 16. And then one color that's just a little bit lighter, softer, that's going to be used for the eight. So that's a big blue, blue festival. The central star is white with a hint of blue. So let's make that first. Probably that could, that could be it maybe. Let's see if that's going to be white enough. You know, I think that's probably fine. See that? I know it looks a little blue, but I bet when I'm painting, that will look white. Okay? So that's the central color to the yantra. The white with a hint of blue. Okay, now we can switch gears. Now we're going to go into the next palette, bring some of that with us, add some red. 